Hello everyone! Today I will be discussing berry pumice, its potential applications, as well as its link to reducing food waste. To start off, it's important to acknowledge the popularity of berries due to their sweet taste and nutritional value. Some of the most popular berries include raspberries, cranberries, blackberries, and blueberries, and each contain large quantities of bioactive compounds known to be beneficial to human health. These berries also present economic value as their popularity and flexibility enable the production of several food products. Some of the most popular products created by berries include jam, juice, and wine. These products are staples in the diets of many individuals and families, implying that large quantities need to be continuously manufactured and sold. This is done through industrial processing. In these processes, berries are pressed for their juices, allowing for their flavors, colors, and nutritional value to be used. Once the valuable parts of the berries are removed, a solid waste is left behind primarily consisting of the skins, seeds, stems, and pulps of the original berries. Approximately 25% of the initial berry input is left over as waste that we call berry pumice. Unfortunately, most of the time, this waste is discarded into landfills for an easy method of disposal. It is sometimes used in animal feed or biofuel production, however, a majority of the time it ends up in landfills, where its bioactive compounds are detrimental to the environment. These environmental issues are primarily due to microbial degradation and low pH levels of the fruits. For these reasons, it is essential to discover solutions to utilize berry pumice and limit or even halt the disposal into landfills. Berry pumice is a reliable source of polyphenols, which are separated into two groups, phenolic acids and flavonoids. These compounds are essential when discussing the utilization of berry pumice as they have demonstrated health-promoting effects, including reduced risk of cancer and cardiovascular diseases. These effects are due to the antioxidant properties of polyphenols. The general structure of phenolic acids and flavonoids can be seen in the figure. Specific compounds are made up of different forms of these general structures. Further processing of berry pumice is essential in order to utilize it to its full potential. Thermal sensitivity and diverse structures of the polyphenols in berry pumice provide limitations to these processes. High temperatures affect the physiological functionality of polyphenols, while varying structures and complexity cause their decomposition temperatures to vary. These limitations make it difficult to find a specific method capable of keeping a significant amount of polyphenols intact. The high moisture content of berry pumice makes immediate processing essential. Drying and extraction are both necessary processes that manipulate raw pumice into a form that can be utilized in various applications. Drying allows a dried pumice to be created, while extraction provides direct access to polyphenols. Pumice is wi most widely used to enhance the nutritional value of food products. The high polyphenol and digestible fiber contents that remain in dried pumice provide an easy way to add value to existing food commodities. Dried pumice is mostly used in baked goods, where baking conditions are important to take into consideration to keep the valuable polyphenols intact. The health benefits of Pumice suggests that the product could be utilized in pharmaceutical applications, however more research in this area is required. The potential for pumice to be used as a natural color pigment has been explored, but more research in this area is needed as well. Here you can see a summary of what we have discussed so far. First, berries are processed industrially, mostly for their juices and a solid fruit waste is left behind. While this waste is mostly discarded into landfills, further processing, including drying and extraction, allow access to health-benefiting polyphenols, which can be utilized in a variety of applications. The objective of this discussion is to emphasize the importance of discovering new solutions to utilizing food waste instead of discarding valuable resources into landfills. Thank you very much for listening, and I hope you have a great day.